Hello friends, Doug Fink back again. I'm going to show you some more stuff about my PowerShell AI module. I'm going to look at the Copilot function. And I'm going to ask some Git questions. GPT is smart about Git as it is with many other things. So here, I'm going to use Copilot at the function, name it, write it. And I'm going to ask the question, how do I list my Git remotes? And I press enter. And off to GPT it goes, comes back gives me a response. I wrap everything in a nice box, show the question you asked at the top, and I show you how many lines there are and I number them. Um, here it's telling me I can use git remote hyphen v and I can choose to run the code with a yes or typing by typing a y or typing an n and I can press enter as a default to not run it. So now I'm going to ask another question. How do I cancel a git merge? Send it up just like that. Sometimes I have to figure out how to do that. I don't remember. And GPT comes back and tells me I can use git merge hyphen hyphen abort. And I can try and run that. I'm not in a repo, so it tells me it's a fatal error because I don't have a git repo here. All good. If I was in a git uh, repo that was trying to do a merge, it would do the appropriate thing. Another question. Let's ask about how do I undo a git add? Sometimes I do a bunch of ads, I want to, and I make a mistake, and I want to undo those so I can redo it. So let's ask GPT. So we use Copilot. How do I undo a git add? And it comes back and tells me I can do a git reset on a file. Cool. So I don't have to run that. Press enter. And finally, sometimes I add uh, files to my git ignore, but I've already checked them in. So I want to know. How do I remove files that I've added to my git ignore? Let's ask GPT. It comes back with three lines of git commands I have to do. A git remove, a git add, and a git commit. Um, if I run those, I get a fatal error on each one of them because I'm not in a repo. But that's how I can now use Copilot command line, um, ask GPT git questions, get back the actual code, and then I can have a confirm process of whether or not I want to actually run those git operations. Sometimes I might ask the wrong question or I might come misunderstand what I'm saying or I might be ambiguous in my question and I come back with git stuff, git commands that are not correct so I can hit no and get out of the process. Hope you liked the video and I'll talk to you soon.